What celebrity death saddened you the most? Mr. Rogers. Alan Rickman. Grant Imahara. Steve Irwin. Sean Locke and Shane Warne were a big kick in the balls as well. Sir Terry Pratchett. He and his works both made the world a better, more interesting place. Chris Cornell. So talented gone too soon and died so tragically. Robin Williams. I loved that man. Leslie Nielsen, Naked Gun Movies and Airplane are my favorite comedy movies and I keep re-watching them all the time. Anthony Bourdain. I miss his snarky attitude. Anton Yelchin. John Ritter. Heath Ledger. Jim Henson, too early AMD such a source of joy to so many. Brittany Murphy. Chester Bennington. Leonard Nimoy. Norm. Carrie Fisher. Mitch Hedberg. So saddened by his death. Really a warning against what addiction can do to someone. Alex Trebek. Chris Farley. Nothing like crying in front of your Christmas tree. Chadwick Boseman. R.I.P. Black Panther. James Gandolfini was an immense talent and people often forget how The Sopranos changed the entire landscape of television. His acting helped usher in a golden age of television that's still going strong to this day. David Bowie. Dolores O'Ridden. Rip. Taylor Hawkins. Naya Rivera. Not her fan, but the way she died was really tragic. Thinking of her child left alone on that boat for hours looking for his mama hurts my chest. Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Chester Bennington. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Tom Petty. Mac Miller. Gone too soon. Leslie Jordan. It was so shocking and out of nowhere, he was such a lovely man and I miss him a lot. Christina Grimmy. John Candy. Patrick Swayze. Freddie Mercury. Betty White. George Carlin. The world could really use him right now. George Michael. Cameron Boyce. So young. Avisi. It was a delayed saddening too, not sure why, but it was few years after his death. I was listening one of his tracks in a car and it hit me hard, I had to pull over to cry it out. Aliyah. Gilda Radna Rosanna Rosanna Dana. Bob Sajet. It felt very sudden and random and I was re-watching Full House and just watched the spin-off so he was very much in my mind. Amy Winehouse. She was so talented. I always remember her very public deterioration getting scary skinny, wandering around at night barefoot with blood and bruises and then get really sad. John Denver. As a kid, I spent many hours singing along to his albums on the 8-track in my dad's car. Bernie Mac. MF Doom. Prince Purpleheart. Composer, James Horner. His scores for Braveheart and Titanic got me interested in a completely new genre of music that I still listen to today. Neil Peart the drummer lyricist of Rush. Phil Hartman. R.I.P. River Phoenix. Twitch and Moonbin. Eddie Van Halen. He provided the soundtrack to my teens and twenties. Selena Quintanilla Perez Red Heart Hash Rose. Whitney Houston. Kevin Conroy. Lance Reddick. Chadwick Boseman. Irfan Khan Indian actor from Life of Pi and Jurassic Kingdom. Stevie Ray Vaughan. 
James Avery Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That made me cry real tears when I found out that he passed away. That show was such a big part of my childhood. Robin Williams also broke me. Both deaths broke my heart and it still stings even though I never knew them IRL. MCA Judith Barcy, voice of Ducky from The Land Before Time. I was still pretty young when it happened, so I don't remember it, but it's so sad. She and her mother were killed in a murder-suicide by her abusive father. They had even left him because of his abuse, but he found out where they were. She was ten years old. Rick Mile, far too young. Alexander Technoblade. Christine McVie. Stan Lee the comic book legend. Lane Staley. Kurt Cobain. Lemmy. Maybe a bit different to most celebrities, but Ken Block or Avisi. Joe Strummer. A lot of years listening to his music. Total Biscuit John Bain. Well known in the gaming world. I cried when Stephen Hawking died. Carrie Fisher. I was gutted. Lance Reddick. A friend talked me into seeing John Wick 4 and I really loved everything Lance had been in and was excited to go. Then he just passed away, which really saddened me as it was so unexpected. Corey Monteith. He seemed like such a nice human being. Chadwick Boseman was rough. He was so young, so talented. Near the end there were so many Crack Panther jokes, but nobody knew he was even sick. People are just shit sometimes. Gord Downey. Lead singer of the Tragically Hip, and soundtrack to Canada. Princess Diana. Everything about that night and the events afterward are burned in my brain. Ah. Billy Mays was here with a special TV offer. Kobe Bryant. Just a day prior I was watching his top 10 plays on YouTube and then out of nowhere heard the news that he died. It makes it even sadder that his daughter Gianna was with him. Luke Perry. I felt like a part of my childhood died that day disappointed but relieved face. Alan Rickman. Chester Bennington, Chris Cornell, Betty White and Trevor Moore. Core 4 for my music taste and sense of humor. Frank Zappa. Coco the Gorilla. Norm MacDonald. Kobe Bryant and his daughter or Marilyn Monroe. Prince Big Part of My Childhood Ripped Away. Phil Hartman. Eddie Guerrero, Viva La Raza. Elliot Smith. 1. Robin Williams and 2. George Carlin, no one, and I mean absolutely no one, would have more incisive commentary on the orange clown than he would. Chris Farley really bummed me out. Tim Bergling of EC. This is a weird one, but Mikhail Gorbachev. He legitimately wanted a better world and chose to basically give up his power in return for a more free world. When he learned of the Ukraine war a few months before his death, his interpreter said he was psychologically traumatized because Putin destroyed his life's work. He honestly seemed like a decent man who wanted peace with the West. He seemed like the type of dude who would be really interesting just to talk to. I guess the reason it made me so sad was the fact that he got to see all his work undone just before he died. Waylon Jennings Scott Weiland fall to pieces Phil Hartman for sure and Norm. Tupac. I became a fan of his after hearing one of his songs without knowing he had not long passed this was shortly after his death. I became a fan instantly and delved straight into his catalogue of music and films. I knew I'd found the musician that ticked all the boxes for me. I was absolutely gutted when I was told he'd been murdered about a year earlier.